We are supply chain. We are supply chain. We are supply chain. Nosotros somos supply chain. I am my supply chain group. I'm MSCG, and we're your supply chain group. Hello everyone, welcome back to SAP's PPDS and IBP presentation and demonstration sessions. In this session, we are going to continue talking about the dashboarding, analytics, and cockpit applications within supply planning. Just to take you a couple of um, uh, demonstration back, we talked about the features of supply planning. Uh, we used the Excel add-in planning interface to uh, see a lot of functionalities, raw milk balancing, uh, we looked at push production, um, we looked at network balancing, how the expiration batch stocks are taken into consideration as the operation plan is firmed up um, in, the, in the next um, few month um, horizon. Um, um, why are we transitioning into dashboards and um, analytics? Um, we, we at SAP recognize that um, analytical capabilities, dashboarding capabilities, KPIs, um, metrics, um, analysis of impacts of one scenario versus the other as the supply planners and the demand planners iterate through different scenarios is extremely critical and a powerful tool that helps in the decision making process as you go through the supply um, sales and sales and operations planning and then the supply planning cycle. Um, we're going to bring to you a couple of dashboards. We will show you how analytics works and we are going to talk to you about a app, an app in the SAP system called Intelligent Visibility and how it acts as a co cockpit for you to um, look at the problems um, that you might have in the supply chain um, network going on and how you can remediate um, those those issues. Um, I, can, I can straight away jump into the system. We are going to start talking about um, the push production dashboard first. Um, this is the, the home page where all the dashboards reside for, for example, as the whole um, entity and their integrated business planning requirements. Um, on it, push production, revenue and costs are two of my um, dashboards. I'll come to revenue and costs um, a little later. Push production is our first um, go-to analytics. Um, for, for better understanding, I start off with what's a tabular function. What am I trying to discuss with you as far as push, push production is concerned? The scenario that we are trying to depict here is you have excess of raw milk supply because we know, like it or not, milk is coming. It's, it's delivered to you on a use it or a lose it basis. So you want to make the most out of how much milk there is with you, regardless of how much demand you have for your cheese and bread products, for your milk powders and your yogurt products. <laughs> So in this current, current scenario, with a certain set of demand that is obviously not exceeding the raw milk availability, um, we have um, the system calculate or the optimizer has been executed and the system has calculated a certain amount of receipts that it thinks is right to make um, for uh, for, for all these given products. On the left-hand side, you see this column, it's called the customer demand. It shows to you how much demand there was for each category of these products. On the right-hand side, the corresponding receipts that the system proposes um, it makes or we make uh, in order to match up um, the demand and then some other factors. As you can see, cheese and butter products, close enough demand supply um, situation. Yogurts, demand supply situation, not so close enough, but the milk powders, there is a, the gap is, uh, the gap between demand and supply is significant. Now, this brings to the table the, the, uh, the point about how Optimizer goes, um, uh, goes about uh, planning the raw milk availability. What it does is it considers which of my products made using the raw milk uh, have the least amount of or have the most uh, shelf life in the system. It also considers few other factors, for example, like storage costs. In this case, milk powder has the lowest storage cost and the highest shelf life expiration. So what the system has done is made a logical decision that it should make milk powders at a higher level of quantities than the other products that have lesser um, shelf life expiration. Of course, this is an example, the tweaks to the, um, you know, tweaks to the costs 
and the self life data can be made as applicable so this is to show you how push production works in the system um, if you don't want to work with uh, tabular functions there is a dual axis um, bar chart available on the left hand side you see the uh, you see the um, you see the total requirements for the milk powders it's on a different scale that's why you see it higher um, the total receipts far outnumber the um, total demand the reason for which we just talked about similarly it shows you the uh, graphical representation of how much demand there was for the cheese and butter versus how much supply um, there is available in the system um, Having talked about having talked about push production, let's talk about the second analytical tool. You know, as supply planners, um, this should start fitting in well with you uh, on how how um, analytics, uh, graphical analytics, tabular analytics can empower you with information for ease of decision making. Um, the second um, the second um, chart we have for you or dashboard we have for you is what we call what we've called the revenue versus cost um, it talks about how much cost um, from procurement of milk um, you stand to incur for this particular scenario that you've mocked up and then vis-a-vis -vis that cost how much revenue you stand to generate be it your milk powders here or be it your um, yogurt products here um, of course this is for a certain time range if you want to get into the details of the chart um, you can do that very well um, i can show you the breakdowns or the drill downs um, on how the constituent weeks make up the numbers that you see here for example the 10.2 percent cost for the raw milk is um, is actually coming out from uh, what's seen in this drill down here uh, the number of weeks you will see the number of weeks in a histogram in a bar chart you will see the number of uh, number of weeks and the total quantities and the value of the raw milk by that by weeks that you see in the system um, if you if you want to go back uh, you can see similar views um, this time you talk about um, let's go back uh, to the main chart from here um, you can talk about um, what was the what was the what were the constituent products within milk the excuse me milk powders that uh, made up this chart the drill down will show you and give you detailed information about um, about how much full cream milk powder um, the system ended up making versus uh, how much skim milk uh, powder the system ended up um, ended up making and the decision is all yours to um, the, yours to interpret and um, uh, and 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 look at um, similarly um, yogurts uh, we can toggle back um, you can toggle back from here um, similarly you can see that yogurts there is a drill down capability available here um, it will show you by weeks by um, the yogurt product uh, how much quantity of the yogurt product you made and subsequently how much value of um, you know yogurt um, by by flavors you got um, as per as far as this plan is concerned so you can see that there is significant amount of quantity for strawberry and blueberry that it is making over the different weeks um, that you see at the uh, that you see at the bottom just goes to show you uh, how much information uh, there is now available at the disposal of the user and the supply planner to make his decisions um, quicker you will all appreciate that um, you know vis-a-vis -vis, uh, talking between different excel sheets uh, this is a far 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 uh, smarter tool uh, with which your your cycle time in the supply planning process and SNOP process should um, should be uh, should be should be cut down significantly. Um, the next app is called the supply chain visibility app. It's also called the intelligent visibility app. It is a one-stop um, supply chain network map wherein the system depicts all the alerts um, that you have going on in your supply network map. Um, these alerts are these alerts are and can be pre-configured. It could be your uh, capacity alerts, inventory alerts, safety stock alerts, um, you know, projected stock alerts. Um, you have what what have you? You name it, and you can configure them here. Um, the system is trying to alert you here that there are four um, um, alerts that that can be seen here at the Grand B location. Um, one click 
details open up in the adjoining screen and then all of the four are displayed here. Let's look at the Mixer 3 issue at Grand B, for example. If I click that, it further opens up another screen and it's ready to show you what's the issue. Um, as the graphic pulls up, you will see that um, the issue is with how much supply that is available, capacity that is available versus how much capacity is being asked for given the current demand situation, right? So this right at right off the bat um, tells you that there is an overload, um, there is a problem, you need to address the problem. So what you do, we've executed the uh, supply optimizer and we want to show you the result after the supply optimizer execution has been completed um, because the optimizer is a solution that's supposed to uh, level off the production and not leave any overloads in there in the system. So once the optimizer has been executed, you can see that all the, all the demands, demand elements are matching the required or the available capacity in the system. Um, so uh, that demonstrates the power that um, IVP brings in um, and, and rests it in the hands of the supply planner using dashboards, analytics, and, uh, um, and intelligent visibility apps. Uh, the, the basic aim is to help expedite the whole supply planning process and thereby uh, cut down on how much time you would otherwise spend trying to um, iterate through different scenarios, um, read the charts, uh, read the impact analysis and then make uh, make your decisions. Uh, with that, I end this video. Thank you.